welcome, sir. Hi, Lazina. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm good. So, what do you, why do you have fruits on the table? Yes, those are my Bluetooth low energy fruits. Fruits? So, yes. So, actually... Never thought when, I would hear those two uh, words together. Yes, correct. This is why you're coming at the Panasonic booth, to, <laughs> to always learn something new. And exciting, yeah. Yeah. So, actually, this is not, as you can see, not a real fruit. In the end, it's just a not just a beacon, but it's a self-powered beacon. So thanks to our amorphous solar cell, so which is very effective in, in, in energy harvesting in indoor lightning, this powers our power, uh, Pan, uh, Pan 7081, which is um, a Bluetooth for energy module. Yes. And it's, the three beacons are sending out packets every is one that second. Based on Nordic? Yes, this is based on Nordic Semiconductor NRF 52820. So, and also thanks to its very low power consumption of around 300 nano MPS in, in sleep mode, we can have with our beacon here a completely whole yeah, self-sustaining system in the end. And what is happening right now is we have a scanner behind this wall and this is scanning for the three beacons out there. And the one with the, with the yeah, strongest signal strength will then be displayed on the on the uh, lab uh, tablet so we have three fruits lazina you look like a strawberry type so <laughs> please take it okay. go to the tablet okay as near as possible yeah but this is already displaying here so um maybe i will i will give you now the lemon so when panasonic gives out lemon make a demo out of it okay Go to the yeah. Oh, look at that! It changed. That's yeah. cool. And yeah. It was very instant. Like I didn't have to wait. No, very long. no. And, Actually uh, not. Oh yeah, it shows the RSSI uh, over here. Yes, correct, screen. correct. As a DBM value. So if you walk with the lemon and the pear, yeah. See the number. Yeah. Yes, correct. So when I when I go uh, near to that. The DBM actually goes higher, but now it's it's in the minus uh, voltage room, but, yeah. uh, but still it goes higher up. So in that way, it's possible also if you strategically position the sc more scanners here, you could actually cover the whole hall here and then also um, yeah design an asset tracking system here via triangulation. Yeah, that's a great use case for it. Yes, correct. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you, Lazina. If you have any questions about Panasonic connectivity solutions or sensors, please feel free to reach out to your local Future Electronics representative or visit us online at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Techventures with Luzina.